Hi, good morning. It's Steve Hersler with Coldwell Banker, the Tim Wood Group, and today I wanted to talk about timing. Um, I get a lot of questions from clients as to when's a good time to um, buy in Big Bear, when's a good time to sell in Big Bear, and you know the the timing is important as far as the time of the year, but also the time of the week uh, when if you're placing an offer on a property in Big Bear because we're a resort community and we have a lot of activity on the weekends as far as showings and buyer activity on properties that are on the market. So <clears throat> first of all, our, our selling season is very similar to other markets out of the area here. We do the primary selling season between um, late June and you know mid-September and those closings occur 30 to 60 days after that. Um, and all the way up to the fall Thanksgiving uh, period. But we also see some good sales during the ski season when, when people are up here. We have high volume of uh, tourist traffic during that time. And we also um, close those deals during the winter months. You know, There's less inventory usually during the winter months. So your property will stand out more if uh, there's less properties on the market. But the other thing is, is as a buyer, um, really, you know, sellers may be more motivated during the winter months, and if the inventory is uh, lower or the number of showings per property falls off, you're going to see more uh, opportunity during the winter months sometimes as a seller, and it just depends on the location of your property and the access if, if there's a lot of snow and, and winter conditions. The other thing I wanted to talk about was as a buyer, when's a good time to place an offer? And a lot of times uh, I'm showing property and people will ask, how long has this one been on the market? And that's a good question, you know, to find out how motivated the seller may be. But it's also a good question if you, if it's only been on the market for two days and it's uh, Thursday, for example, and you want to negotiate a discount on the price, uh, I don't really believe that it's going to be a good idea to throw your offer in right away on Friday or Saturday morning and have um, your offer sitting for three days waiting for other offers that might compete with your offer um, come in because your your offer may just be used as a lever to increase other offers that come in. So my strategy for that would be if, if you find a property that you like, um, the best time in my opinion to place an offer in Big Bear to have the most time to negotiate it would be in the first part of the week and allow yourself three or four days before the other buyer traffic comes up on the following weekend. So um, that's just my take on it. it you know, you could, if, if, if you really love a property and it's priced well and it comes on the market, then by all means get in there and place your full price offer or very close to full price and see if you can get it. But what I would find in most cases is if you come in with an offer below the list price and you're trying to negotiate when the property's only been on the market for less than two weeks, uh, you may be just uh, creating a lever for other buyer activity, okay? So hopefully that's something um, you would understand as a, as a strategy for um, working on putting a deal together, okay? Anyway, Steve Herschler, Coldwell Banker, give me a call if you need anything, 909-725-5889. Thanks.